I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 287, where I'm going to show you the difference in the structural functions of at ID versus at category. I have here a very basic example. I have a matrix that has category A and it has category C. And if I want to populate any cell with the item that I'm on, in this category, I can do that by simply going out and saying this column equals, or this item equals at A. And if I were to do that, then you can see that it brings back into this cell the value of the item, okay? Now, what happens when I use the at ID with the category, meaning I say, this item is equal to at ID structural function category A, like this. It brings back the same thing, or so you think. But if I were to go ahead and say group these items here, and then add another item here and have it called A1, then you can see that indeed my at with the category brings back just the item that I am on or that I am at, right? Whereas the at ID brings back a unique name for this item. So because this is duplicated, A1 is duplicated, it needs to clarify it more for it to be unique. So what it does is it takes the category name and adds it with a little dot between there. And I think if I were to uh, make this bigger and maybe blow it up here, you could see the dot. So that's probably better. And then uh, to get a unique list here with the A1 here, it would go ahead and add the grouping of A5. Of course, it wouldn't put the A in front of that because then it would still be a, A1. So at A, at with the category goes ahead and brings in the item that I'm on. But if I need that to be a unique list of items, then I go ahead and I use the at ID and it creates kind of this uh, unique list uh, within the array of, of the item. And I will show you in my next video how you can employ this at ID function to solve a problem. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. A little bit of uh, Quantrix theory there on structural functions. And if you have any questions about at ID or at categories or anything in regards to Quantrix, you know, I really do hope that you will reach out to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com and ask me your question. I really, I really do love Quantrix. And I want to make you a Quantrix master. So please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.